three, two, one, let's go. Now that's a conversation starter. Yaika repeats this phrase several times throughout the show. Although she uses the statement to criticize Kogana for being a softie, Yaika never explains exactly what her mindset and what Kogana's mindset are. I'm gonna go rather fast here. Ready? <clears throat> You got all of that? Yayaka's mindset begins as tryharding for amorphous fragments, which contrasts against the mindset of Kokona and Papika, who mutually explore each other's personalities as they explore pure illusion. The two mindsets manifest in their interactions among the organization they belong to and in their interactions between each other. Let's examine Asclepius. Immediately, we see that Asclepius resembles a certain American extremist hate group. Their goal is to revive Mimi, and to do so, they offer amorphous fragments to this giant statue thing. To organize their endeavors, they establish a power hierarchy and behave in rituals. They indoctrinate Yayaka and the twins into their organization at a young age, and assign them one purpose. To collect amorphous. The outfit and tools that Yayaka and the twins use are specially tailored to retrieve amorphous fragments. Despite the fact that she holds an imperative role in their operations, Asclepius treat Yaika like disposable trash. Yaika failed to get the amorphous once. In response, Asclepius manufactures another synthetic human girl to replace Yaika. Asclepius designed her to ruthlessly collect amorphous. Evidently, Yaika's mindset stems directly from her guardians. Asclepius holds the tryhard mindset, and so Yaika picked it up from them. Asclepius acts as the foil organization to our equally mysterious Flip Flap. Flip Flap's day-to-day -day operations are more casual. Every day is a metaphorical new adventure for the supporting staff and a literal one for our protagonist duo. All members hold an imperative role in Flip Flap, even Kokona, especially Kokona, despite being a newcomer. Kokona and Papika often immerse themselves into the world of pure illusion. When they jump down a rabbit hole, they grow rabbit ears. During the Yuli school episode, they embrace the feminine hobbies of embroidery and drinking tea. They get so preoccupied that sometimes they forget their original mission, to collect Nomorphous. Yaika on the other hand focuses only on the mission. Her willingness to go to a pure illusion is simply to get in, do the job, and get out. The contrast between Coconut and Yaika emphasize how disconnected Yaika is from the world of pure illusion. Yayaka initially believed that her mindset was superior to Kokona's and Papika's mindset. Although being removed from the world of pure illusion helps her keep a level head, she notices the constraints of staying mentally separated. Yayaka remarks that Kokona and Papika seem to have some sort of natural draw to the amorphous. Yayaka and the twins would exhaustively search the world for hours, and then Kokona and Papika would fall from the sky and land, without fail, right next to the amorphous. So Yaika and the twins have resorted to nabbing the amorphous right before our protagonist can. During the mega episode, Yaika understood that staying uninvolved would likely result in Kokonas and Papika's deaths. Although reluctantly, she jumps in headfirst to assist her enemies. She does the thing and has a ton of fun doing it. Yaika hides behind the excuse that she's only doing this for the amorphous. But in the end, she willingly gives up the amorphous to Kokona and Papika and somewhat convinces the twins to comply. The twins could not understand. They were prepared to fight and knew they could overwhelm Gramps, Kokona, and Papika. Why did Yayaka join them? Yayaka experiences a violent epiphany during the White World episode. After beating Kokona to a pulp, Yayaka finally finds herself in a situation where she can freely maim Kokona in order to extract the amorphous in her inner thigh. No one is holding her back, and no one has the potential to hold her back. She raises her knife. Yayaka believed that her emotions were her weakness, but when Asclepius abandons her, Yayaka finally lets go. Some time ago, Yayaka has slowly converted to Flip Flap's mindset. Now she can freely express how. She accepts a dangerous job solely off emotional appeal and joins forces with Papika to save Kokona. 
She even transforms through expressing her emotions through the amorphous. Unfortunately, we only get a glimpse of how Yayaka changes as the series focuses on Kogana towards the end. But just like Kogana, Yayaka only needed a tiny bit of forgiveness and a tiny bit of courage. <laughs>